Hey guys, welcome in another development update from my Next.js with Shopify integration course. My name is Philip. I am creator and instructor of this course. And in this video, I will show you what features and the lectures I have added into the course. Okay, so lately I have added quite a lot of features and very important uh, ones. So currently we can open the cart in the nav bar and the cart, we are displaying all of the items we have added into, into the cart. Currently incrementation, decrementation of the items or delete of the item doesn't work, but I can add new items definitely. So for example, I'll go here to my homepage to let's say lightweight jacket and I will add here a combination of large and the white color, add to cart and I should have here lightweight jacket of a light and the white, a large and the white color for 100 euros and also price it says incremented this point, a different price. And yeah, if I have, I will add the, more of these items to cart we should have a two items here for 200 euros and the price should be updated here. So that's the features we I've been adding to the course. The lectures are not up uploaded yet, but I will be uploading the lectures today. Also from the code perspective, there were tons of code, really tons of code, tons of hook functions I have been adding to the lectures. So uh, for example, I can show you functions of our card in our framework folder. So uh, Shopify card use a card. Here are hook functions I've been adding. All right, doesn't say as much here, you need to watch the lectures for this. And the most important fu uh, functions here is that we are describing this function. So we have a mutations hook, we have a SWR hooks and providing different descriptors to them. So we know all the information we are receiving and sending to the so then to the hook. So there will be quite a lot of types. All right, so we'll show you types now in a common folder, types, hooks, TS. So that's the types I have been adding. All right, quite a lot of types. All right, and that's basically features I have been adding to the course. There's still a couple of missing. There is a removal update of the items, then proceed to the checkout and the Shopify integration itself. So we'll be not using the local server, but a Shopify remote server. Okay, guys, uh, these lectures already I will show you. Academy.co.com. I don't even remember how many lectures I have added. Oh, encodeacademy.com. Embarrassing, doesn't work. Ah, now it works. Now, okay. I forgot the domain of my own uh, platform. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's see the TypeScript course and <laughs> here, 193 lectures and 12, 20 hours of course. Today I will be adding more than 10 lectures for sure. Okay guys, so there is still around 20 lectures missing for the completion of the course or maybe 30 even and after that the course is done. And yeah, so, See you in the next update or some of my other videos. Cheers.